we have to start with the history of two very distinct, very proud agencies with a long history, INS and the United States Customs Service. Obviously there had been a lot of negative attention given to INS in the wake of the attacks uh, and in the crosshairs on the hill and the media. There were terrific people there, very skilled, but it was really a demoralized place. When I started at ICE, we still had budget challenges. And the agency also had broader structural challenges. It was going through a lot of growing pains in terms of really reasserting its leadership in certain enforcement areas. And the merging of the authorities, I think, was quite a challenge for the agency. On the detention and removal side, there were also a lot of challenges. You know, the American people in Congress really wanted us to be more efficient, and so we had to start thinking about business process and how could we really improve or re-engineer removal to make it better for the detainees that we served and also reduce the amount of time that individuals spent in removal proceedings. I was very proud of our special agents and the record numbers that they set in terms of um, export enforcement investigations, IPR investigations, immigration fraud in investigations, and money laundering. And so they created some new centers like the IPR Center to really capitalize on all of our resources and use them more effectively. And I was very, very proud of all the men and women in detention and removal for really re-engineering removal, reducing the amount of time that individuals spent in detention from 89 days to under 30 days, and making conditions of detention better for those who needed to be detained. Got to throw in the lawyers. The ICE lawyers, I think, do a terrific job. There are a lot of authorities that hadn't been used in the same kind of ways. We were looking for the first time in bringing a traffic invest trafficking investigation, how could we use asset forfeiture? So there are a lot of things that we were new doing for new times and new ways, and the lawyers made a big difference in that. I wanted to go from that place where people were questioning why we existed or what we were doing to that point where people recognized ICE as a major force in federal law enforcement. Operation Crosscheck in a week going out to every state in this union and arresting serious criminal offenders and removing them from the streets of the country. HSI, tremendous investigative capabilities and powers. I wanted to elevate that function so that it got the credit it was due. My friends, we have to attack child exploitation relentlessly and together. Sunflower, HSI special agents arrest 245 sexual offenders in the space of five weeks and rescue 113 children from sexual abuse. OPLA reviewing every single case on the immigration court docket and bringing discipline and some order to that docket. Score one for the good guys, federal aid came down. I think for many years, ICE did not get the credit it deserved for all the fantastic work it does. That's starting to change. We are the most reported on component in the department. It's because we are out there. We are at the forefront of all of those things. Good morning, gentlemen. This morning, we're going after our at-large criminal alien. We are the most innovative federal law enforcement agency out there, and we have a direct effect on homeland security and the public safety of this country in a significant and positive way.